Hey guys, what is up? Today I've got the Motorola Droid Bionic here, and I'm going to be telling you about some of the perks of ADW Launcher. If you've never used a launcher before, it's a great thing to use. Uh, I love mine. It's a uh, it's something different than the Android home screen, so it's going to be completely different than that. I mean, not completely different, but let's go ahead and get into it. You'll still have the same lock screen here. So right there, I've had the ice cream sandwich background. I'm gonna go ahead and go in. You'll notice that my browser looks different as long as maybe some of the other apps. Uh, that's because with this I've installed, there's the browser there. With this I've installed a, uh, a theme with it. Uh, the theme is called ice cream sandwich. It's down here in the bottom. It's going to be right here. That would be ice cream sandwich that I've used to kind of customize everything. So this will be what it is. So Next, uh, so I have the ice cream sandwich. And I'm going to show you guys some other things. The widget I have here is by Minimalistic Text. And it's going to have widgets that have different kind of text here, the minimalistic widget is going to be right there on the left, right there that's going to be minimalistic text when you uh, see so when you launch into it there's not going to be anything that's going to be there so what you do when you're uh, launching one of these is uh, Let's go ahead and, since I'll show you this, I'll go ahead and add a page. And that's another great thing about these launchers is you can add and subtract pages. So what you're going to do is you're going to put the settings button. Then you're going to go to arrange screens. And what that's going to do is it's going to show you a list of screens you have. I only have two because that's what I need. And we're going to go to add a screen up here. It's going to add a screen there for us. Going to go back. And here's our new screen. With the ice cream sandwich background. We're going to hold down on it. And go to add a widget. This is one of the downsides to it is that when you add something it's going to take a while whether it's apps or anything the settings is fast but not most other things so we're going to go down here to minimalistic text and what you can do is you can add it vertical or horizontal we'll go with horizontal here and then it's going to give you all these options here so you can add a name, you can change the background of it, you can change the widget direction, you know, like horizontal, vertical. However, you can resize the whole thing. So you can allow overflow with it, or you can select a uh, predefined layout here, which is the time. You can make it do the date, battery bar, weather. You can make up a custom one. We'll go with battery bar. Uh, you're gonna you can choose the style for the text and then you can also choose the language the time zone obviously for the time widget uh, you when you tap it you can make it do different things like launch this or just open up these settings which is what I have it set to so that's just gonna be okay and that's going to be our widget right there right there it's going to be our widget and it's going to show the uh, a bunch of different numbers with the 63 as the battery percent there so that's minimalistic text I like that so I also have fancy widgets which is another thing we'll go ahead and show you that another nice thing is when you hold these you get a list here of different things, remove, resize, manage, or share. 
so you get a couple different options there. We're going to go with remove. So let's go ahead and add another widget. And we're going to go down to fancy widgets. We'll go 4x2. Now, fancy widgets is going to have clocks like this. This is what I have on my home screen. So it's just going to be six clocks that you can select from. And that's what's on my home screen there. You can have the weather above or under the uh, time there, which is nice. So let's go ahead and remove that. Okay, so we're not going to need this page anymore. So we can go to arrange screens. And to delete it, you're just going to hit the X at the bottom of the screen there. Gonna ask you if you want to remove it and all its content. You're gonna hit yes. So, I'm gonna hit back. Another nice feature I like is you can add things to the bottom bar here, the dock. It's gonna let you uh, keep moving on the dock there, so you can add as much as you want. So that's another nice feature of these. Uh, things here and they're just very customizable as I'll show you in a minute here but like right now when I change the screens I have a screen transition effect if you've noticed it bounces and when I'm pulling it up it pulls it up like that and then it'll bounce as a overlap effect and so I've set that on there you can change the bounce or the screen transition which I'll show you in a minute. And another nice thing is the Google bar at the top. If you haven't noticed, I don't have any app launcher down here. I don't have any uh, to pull up all the apps. So what I have instead is this bar up here. The Google bar. It's going to have Google on it and you can do the voice. And the app drawer is also going to be up there in the corner. That's going to pull up your apps with the background. So it'll be transparent to the background of your uh, phone there. And there's not really any neat transitions to this. You can just kind of scroll through them there. Let's go back home. It does have a nice transition to the home screen. But let's go ahead and show you some other things. You can resize the screen, which is nice. And then also... Some other great things are you can overlap widgets. There's a bunch of different things you can add to launcher actions. And what's great is uh, whenever I put things in a folder, they're going to have a, uh, you can change how the style of them. On uh, the regular Android home screen, on the, at least on Ice Cream Sim, which is, which is what I'm operating on, they are cascaded. And so here they're going to be just across. So let's put some in a thing. If you can see that, they're going to be just across there instead of cascaded. They're going to show up on either side of the uh, whatever the middle icon is, the first one you put in. So that's something else. Okay, let's get into the settings here. I'm going to go to ADW settings. And there's just going to be a lot. There is a pro version of this, ADW X. And it's just going to have some more features, as I'll show you. So let's go ahead and start with the screen. The screen here, you can uh, do a lot of stuff. If you like the... Uh, if you only want a certain amount of apps in a page you can change that how many are in each column or how many are in each uh, row so that's great infinite scroll here we'll check that and I'll show you here once you get to one page this is my last page here but I can keep scrolling and I'll just go to my first page again so there you have that infinite scrolling so you don't ever have to scroll all the way back to the other side if you don't like that or you can do the uh, iPhone setup, delete this page over here and just have a bunch of pages this going this way. 
Another great thing is it'll rotate here. And so you can have everything in a uh, style like that. There's that rotated. It will kind of stretch out some things like that right there. So that's not good, but it does rotate. Let's rotate it back here. Okay, let's show you some other settings here. Okay, so let's look at app drawer here. This is what's going to be in the uh, top right there that I was showing you with, with all the apps and everything up here. That's what this is going to be. So, you can add transitions here. It'll, the style of it, how it transitions, I have that. Or we can do horizontal, which isn't very fun. But this is what I was talking about with the uh, pro version, the X. You can get more themes. You can scroll down here. So, there's more themes you get with the pro version, the paid version, as always. Okay, let's go to the icons here. The icons, I mean, there's not a lot of customization for the icons. It's going to be a lot of the uh, paid stuff. So, that's where I added a theme to everything. Well, the theme is right here. Ice cream sandwich is what I used right there. So, by code over there. That's what I used for the uh, the theme. That's why the browser changed, and I have some other things also changed. I'll uh, update another video with a uh, with a nice little theme I have going. So let's go back. Let's look at the folders here. In the folders, we have the folder style. Uh, we ha we have the folder previews. And everything so this is just a lot of uh just again a lot of customization for the uh, folder previews I have them in a fan I was talking about cascaded or stacked you can also have grid so those don't none of this comes with the regular just the Android home screen we can look at the app dock there's also gestures which I think is nice uh, so you can swipe up or swipe down and you can just set these to do different things like two fingers down here. Okay, you can set it to do any of those things when you do that on the home screen. Right now I have it set as none, but... So that's one of the nice features. And then themes I showed you. System, there's just going to be... Like you can select a configuration preset. Look at the advanced settings, security, you can back up and restore your phone. Uh, you can reset ADW there, which is nice because if you get it all just messed up, you can reset the whole thing and start over again. And then also restart ADW, so if you have accidentally selected the option whenever you push home and you can't get to your, uh, you can't get back to your regular Android home screen, you can restart ADW. It'll give you that option again to select a default and you can get back to your default home screen. So that's pretty much about it. So, yeah, I like all the features of this and it's just pretty customizable. Thank you guys.